The Philippines is a country that's made up of over 7,000 islands that are filled with stunning lakes and beaches, all of which have their own unique wildlife. The country is located at the Coral Triangle, a region having more fish and coral species than any other area on the planet. Tropical reefs are the world's richest marine ecosystems, and those found in the Philippines have an unrivaled richness of life and color. And because of its rich marine ecosystem, the Philippines is home to dozens of rare and endemic fish species. Before we begin, be sure to hit the like button to help us out. Now, here are 10 rare fish species found in the Philippines. Number 10. Lobed River Mullet If you've watched our videos before, you're probably already aware of this species. If you haven't seen that video yet, click on the pop-up above. Anyways, the lobed river mullet, or locally known as ludong, is a species of mullet that live in fresh water. They're known for their distinct flavor and scent after being cooked, making them extremely sought after for the preparation of delectable food. They are the most costly fish in the country, with a mature fish weighing around 0.25 to about 2 kilograms, costing 4 to 5,000 pesos per kilo. Because it's seasonal and difficult to catch, it commands a premium market price. While the lobed river mullet is said to be endemic to the Cagayan River Basin, verifiable and credible reports of listed areas such as Fiji as places where they can be found. Because of their precarious status, the ludong is actually on the verge of becoming an endangered species. In fact, data acquired from Cagayan fish dealers revealed that the volume of ludong capture has been steadily declining year after year. Number 9. Humphead Wrasse This species reigns supreme over the coral reefs. The humphead wrasse, named because of the bulge on its head, can reach 6 feet in length, weigh up to 400 pounds, and live for 30 years. Male humphead wrasses can reach a length of 2 meters and typically weigh around 180 kilograms, while the females are slightly smaller. The two black lines located behind their eyes, large lips, and a hump that looks like their forehead are all distinguishing features of this species. They also come in a range of colors, from blue-green to purplish-blue. This rare fish is not only beautiful, but also plays a critical role in the health of coral reefs. Crustaceans, mollusks, other fish, echinoderms, sea urchins, and other invertebrates are among the sea animals eaten by these fish. Unfortunately, the population of this species is in decline due to a variety of factors, such as unreported and unregulated illegal fishing. Humphead wrasses were once solely eaten by royalty, but they are now highly sought after in East Asia's luxury food business. Number 8. Megamouth Shark Yes, sharks are fish. Back in 2009, fishermen in the Philippines caught a megamouth shark, one of the rarest fish species in the world, and ate it shortly after. The 500-kilogram megamouth died in their net off the coast of Barayas Island in the central part of the Philippines. This rare fish had a striking appearance, but not much is known about the species. They have a brownish-black top and a white underbelly, as well as an uneven tail with a long upper lobe, similar to a thresher shark. Unlike most sharks, the megamouths are filter feeders with a calm demeanor and mostly feed on plankton. Their blubbery mouths are approximately one meter wide and bordered with a bright silver ring. According to the World Wildlife Fund, just 40 additional shark sightings have ever been documented. The fish was tagged Megamouth 41, and it's the world's 41st megamouth according to the Florida Museum of Natural History. It was also only the eighth megamouth to ever be discovered in the Philippine waters. Number 7. Clown Frogfish Frogfish are discovered in practically all tropical and subtropical oceans and seas around the world, including the Philippine Seas. In the Philippines, they may be found in Dawan and Apo Island and Mactan. Clown frogfish, like all frogfishes, are ferocious predators that will attack any tiny animal that comes into its strike range, which are primarily fish. They're small, short, and stocky, with spinules and other detailing on their bodies that help them camouflage. The camouflage protects them from predators and allows them to attract prey. Their prey can range in size from small to as large as they are. These rare animals have what's called biofluorescence, which means that when exposed to blue or ultraviolet light, it re-emits it as red and appears differently from when exposed to white light. Number 6. Zebrafish Zebrafish are a popular aquarium fish native to South Asia, sometimes sold under the trade name Zebra Daniel. 
They're usually found in Laguna Lake and Ta'al Lake in the Philippines, but they can also be found in other parts of South and Southeast Asia. They're usually swimming in streams, canals, ditches, oxbow lakes, ponds, and rice paddies, preferring shallow water that's stagnant to moderately flowing. This rare fish gets its name from the five horizontal pigmented blue stripes on the side of the body that extends to the end of the caudal fin, resembling zebra stripes. Their mouths are pointed upwards and their bodies are laterally compressed. They are omnivorous, feeding primarily on zooplankton, phytoplankton, insects, and insect larvae, although they can also eat worms and small crustaceans if their preferred food sources aren't readily accessible. We're now halfway through our video. If you're still with us, comment the fish and Philippine flag emoji down below. Number 5. Pelagic Thresher The Pelagic Thresher Shark is one of three types of thresher sharks, all of which have very long tails. The open ocean is home to the pelagic thresher, which may be found at the surface or up to a depth of at least 500 feet. The color of the pelagic thresher is unique compared to other thresher species. When alive or extremely fresh, this species' dorsal surface color is blue-gray, but fades to a pale gray shortly after death. The long upper caudal fin lobes of these sharks are immediately identifiable, and they're used to hunt small pelagic species such as anchovies, sardines, hake, mackerel, and squid. In fact, they get their name from the long, scythe-like tail that they use to swat and stun fish before devouring them. They're generally not a threat to humans, but they are sometimes preyed upon by top-level predators, such as killer whales and larger sharks. Number 4. Knife-Tooth Sawfish Also known as the narrow sawfish or the pointed sawfish, the knife-tooth sawfish can be found in the warm areas of the Indo-Pacific Ocean, which includes the Philippines. This species can survive a wide range of salinity and can live in both estuarine and marine habitats. They are usually found larger offshore and inversely are smaller inshore. Moreover, females are more often found offshore. The long, narrow, and flattened protrusion on their snout are what instantly distinguishes them from the other species. Due to their small size, they are not really considered prey and can actually be quite friendly to humans. However, when threatened, they will often flail their heads from side to side trying to protect themselves, which can cause significant injuries to a human. Number 3. Ornate Eagle Ray One of the few eagle ray species lacking a stinging barb, the ornate eagle ray are strong swimmers who have been known to leap many meters into the air. The ornate eagle ray is the largest of the three species in the genus and is a rare ray that has not been observed in large numbers since its discovery in 1852. On its back, the ornate eagle ray has a characteristic pattern of reticulate black lines and rings with a disc diameter of roughly 240 centimeters. Although the ornate eagle ray was previously plentiful, it's now considered rare in places like the Philippines, even in remote protected marine zones. Demersal fisheries, which are fisheries that catch fish on or close to the seabed, are often placed in their habitat, and are the most serious threat this species face. They are generally kept and sold in fish markets after being caught, and unfortunately there have been no species-specific conservation measures yet implemented. Number 2. Roa Rumsfeldi The Roa Rumsfeldi was first discovered in 2016 in the twilight zone depths of around 400 feet on the Philippine reefs around Oriental Mindoro and Batangas. In contrast to the other Roa specimens, this species features vertical white and brown stripes on the ventral fin and a black spine. The reduced amount of poured scales in the lateral line, longer snout, shorter caudal fin, pelvic fin color, and genetics are key distinctions that make the Roa Rumsfeldi different from others in its genus. The name honors Donald Rumsfeld, the former U.S. Secretary of Defense, because he once said, quote, There are known knowns. There are things we know we know. We also know there are known unknowns. That is to say, we know there are some things we do not know. But there are also unknown unknowns. The ones we don't know, we don't know." End quote. Somehow, this applies to this species. You're nearly at the end of our video. Before we continue, make sure you're subscribed. That way you'll always be notified of our future videos. Number 1. Velifer Hypsilopterus This fish is so rare that there are only around 10 images of a live one on the internet. 
Fortunately, we've compiled a bunch of them for you. Danny Ocampo, a Filipino marine conservationist, was visiting his normal underwater areas at Batangas on March 29th when something caught his eye. It appears to be a young batfish, but it has a strange appearance, Ocampo thought to himself. He aimed his camera at the weird little critter and managed to snap a single photo. He had no idea that he had just made history in a matter of seconds. The fishy photograph turned out to be the elusive Velifer hypsilopterus, which ended up being the first sighting of the species in the Philippines. Veliferids are extremely rare and only have a few museum specimens. Sri Lanka, Taiwan, and Australia are the only countries to have ever collected the rare species. But because it's so rare, we unfortunately don't really know much about this creature. Hey, thanks for watching. Want to suggest a video or have something to say? Let us know in the comments section below. Check out our wildlife playlist for more videos like this one.